what we've just said is if I wanted to calculate the volume of this rectangular box then it would be enough to determine the area of the base and multiply that by the height because the area of the base is the length times the breadth so we get the volume of the box is equal to the area of the base times the height which is length times breadth times height now think about your cylinder a cylinder is a shape that has a circular base if we applied exactly the same logic then we would say that the volume of the cylinder is equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height now the area of the base is the area of a circle multiplied by the height and in our previous lesson we showed that the area of a circle can be given by pi times r squared times height and there we have the formula for the area of a cylinder notice how easily that follows once we really understand what we're doing over here pretty cool isn't it what we did there is exactly the same as what we did in our previous lesson on area we used one formula to help us develop another formula let's summarize the two formula that we now have for volume and here are the formula the formula for a rectangular box is given by length times breadth times height and the formula for the volume of a cylinder is given by pi times the radius squared that is the radius of the base multiplied by the height of the cylinder before wrapping up today's lesson let's have a look at a typical volume problem the problem asks us to determine how much volume or space is unused in the box when it is packed with cans as shown in the picture to answer the question we start out by calculating the volume of the box the volume is given by length times breadth times height which in this case is 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 12 centimeters and when I do that on my calculator I'm going to get 40 times 30 times 12 14,400 centimeters cubed. Next, we need to calculate the volume of each of those cans. Now, I hope that you can see that if four cans fit snugly side by side and make up a distance of 40 centimeters, then the diameter of that can will be 10 centimeters. Just to confirm that, notice how three cans fitting snugly together make up a distance of 30 centimeters the volume of the can is equal to let's just add that there the box and the can is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared times the height for pi I'm going to use 3 comma 1 4 for the radius I'm going to use 5 remember the diameter is 10 centimeters therefore the radius is 5 centimeters and I'm going to square that amount multiplied by the height which is 12 centimeters when I multiply all of that out I'm going to get 3.14 times 5 times 5 times 12 942 centimeters cubed for one can but there are 12 cans in the box so the volume of 12 cans is equal to 942 centimeters cubed multiplied by 12 which is 942 times 12 11,304 
centimeters cubed. It follows then that the volume or the unused volume is equal to the volume of the box minus the volume of all of the cans together, which gives us three thousand and ninety six centimeters cubed. Because the box has been packed with cans and hence there are little spaces between the cans, some of the space in the box is wasted. The amount that's wasted or lost is 3096 cubic centimeters. I hope that you've enjoyed watching how we developed those formula and I hope that you also realize now that we have those formula that we can determine the volume of almost any object. For now you will find a number of questions on our website at www.learn.co.za Please complete these questions to consolidate what we have explored in this lesson. Till next time. Summary. In this lesson you learned the following formulae. Volume of a rectangular box equals length times breadth times height. Volume of a cylinder equals pi times radius squared times height.